I was born in Oakland. My parents met as students at the University of California. But while I may be the first woman in this office, I will not be the last. Biography of Kamala Harris Kamala Harris, in full Kamala Devi Harris, born October 20, 1964, Oakland, California, U.S., American politician who was elected to the U.S. Senate as a Democrat in 2016 and began her first term representing California in that body the following year. She was the first Indian American to serve as a U.S. Senator as well as the second African American woman. Harris previously was the state's Attorney General, 2011-17. In November 2020 she was elected Vice President of the United States on a ticket with Joe Biden. Family background of Kamala Harris My mother, who raised me and my sister, was a proud woman. Her father, who was Jamaican, taught at Stanford University, and her mother, the daughter of an Indian diplomat, was a cancer researcher. Her younger sister, Maya, later became a public policy advocate. Educational background of Kamala Harris After studying political science and economics, B.A., 1986, at Howard University, Kamala earned a law degree, 1989, from Hastings College. Professional background of Kamala Harris She subsequently worked as a deputy district attorney, 1990-98, in Oakland earning a reputation for toughness as she prosecuted cases of gang violence, drug trafficking, and sexual abuse. Harris rose through the ranks, becoming district attorney in 2004. In 2010 she was narrowly elected Attorney General of California, winning by a margin of less than 1%, thus becoming the first female and the first African American to hold the post. Harris's book, Smart on Crime, 2009, co-written with Joe Nock. Hamilton, was considered a model for dealing with the problem of criminal recidivism. In 2014 she married attorney Douglas M. Hoff. In early 2015 Harris declared her candidacy, and on the campaign trail she called for immigration and criminal justice reforms, increases to the minimum wage, and protection of women's reproductive rights. She easily won the 2016 election. Harris's memoir, The Truths We Hold, an American Journey, was published in January 2019. Shortly thereafter Harris announced that she was seeking the Democratic presidential nomination in 2020. She continued to maintain a high profile, notably becoming a leading advocate for social justice reform following the May 2020 death of George Floyd, an African American who had been in police custody. As racial injustice became a major issue in the United States, many Democrats called on Biden, the party's presumptive nominee, to select an African-American woman, a demographic that was seen as pivotal to his election chances, as his vice presidential running mate. In August 2020 Biden chose Harris, and she thus became the first black woman to appear on a major party's national ticket. In November 2020 she became the first black woman to be elected Vice President of the United States, 